Now, there's some caution with this. If you own a business and you're also planning on using one Google Workspace account for your personal use, for all of your personal data, you probably don't wanna have both of those connected in the same Google Workspace account. I have a personal domain that I plan to switch to a Google Workspace account. I have a business workspace on the basic plan used only for email. Once I create the new Workspace account, can I move the business email domain over instead of having a separate Workspace account? Great question. If you have a domain name and you create a Google Workspace account with that domain name, you're gonna have one Google Workspace account connected to each domain that you provision. Now, if you want two domains to live under one account, that works totally fine, but you need to add the second domain as an add-on domain to your existing Google Workspace account. Now, there's some caution with this. If you own a business and you're also planning on using one Google Workspace account for your personal use, for all of your personal data, you probably don't wanna have both of those connected in the same Google Workspace account because if you've got a business with other business partners or it's a business that you maybe want to be able to sell one day, well then it would make more sense for you to actually have those two completely separate. So my recommendation would be if you've got a business that is gonna have other partners or it's gonna grow and scale, you keep it separate from a personal Workspace account. But let's say, for example, you have just one account and maybe you wanna, I don't know, register a domain for a personal project that's not really a serious business, but has an additional domain name. Well then in that case, you might wanna add an extra domain name into your business account. So what do extra domain names look like? Well, if you go into your admin panel, head along to admin.google.com. Inside there, you will go to your account and then your domains. And inside domains, it'll show you a list of the different domains that you've got managed in your account. You can see here our primary domain, itgenius.com lives there, but we also have a number of additional domains which are added as aliases for our company. And what an alias domain means is that it's an additional domain that will work for all of the email addresses inside our business. So you can see .com.au, what we used to use, and we also have itgenius.asia in there as well. All the domains for our account, all nice and easy to access for our team. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.